Do you believe how light it is in this house right now? Because you know what kind of a light that is? That's sun. That's the all natural sun coming through these windows. <laughs> I feel like the last four or five videos I've been talking to you guys at night and I'm finally doing something during the day. So hello friends and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. We are actually doing an unpacking video today. Thank goodness because I am ready to keep unpacking. So I have about an hour and a half before I have to go get the kiddo. I just got back from a four day weekend of dog sitting. I know I'm so sick of it guys but like what are you gonna do? You know you gotta make ends meet. I've spent an hour and a half like unpacking my stuff. I went to Aldi for some groceries. I just got that unpacked. I did the dishes. Like I just kind of reset a little bit. I didn't really film any of that because I just wanted to get in a good headspace. Now I'm ready to do these kitchen cabinets and get quite a few bags and boxes unpacked. I have a feeling if I stay on task, we can get like two boxes and two tote bags full of stuff unpacked. Also, all of my windows are open except for this kitchen window because people are out in the courtyard right now and I feel like they can hear me and I get really embarrassed when I feel like people can hear me, even though over 10,000 of you watch these. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Every single window in this house is open. It is 60 degrees outside. I don't even care. It's giving me so much fresh air. I don't remember what they call it in Germany. I know I have some German followers. Please tell me what it's called when you just open all the windows. Um, Luften? Is it Luften? I don't remember. I don't I don't know. I don't remember, but I, I love it. I did a simmer pot. I don't know if you guys know what simmer pots are, but I freaking love them. I did nutmeg, rosemary, oranges, cinnamon, and some salt in there. And my house smells amazing. That's all I'm going to say about that. The ADHD is going to ADHD really hard in, in this video today. I forgot my um, magic mind <laughs> this weekend, so I didn't really take it. Um, and I'll tell you, that really does help my mind stay on track. I haven't taken it over the last weekend, and you can just tell that I'm a little spacey, and that's okay. This stuff. I got this stuff from Amazon. It's anti-slip, non-stick, whatever this is. And I'm going to put it in, I think, the bottom things. I don't think I care about the upper cabinets enough to put it in there. And also, since the last video decided to be stupid and mess up, let me show you the finished cabinet. Okay, so I cleaned this today, obviously. That's my recycle. Let's go to my mom's house. But since you couldn't see the finished product, here's the finished product of the pantry. And if you haven't watched that video, please do, because it's funny to me. I do have some sad news, though. <laughs> It's just because I haven't organized that yet, so I can't like put everything up to its full potential quite yet. How do I want to go about this? Do I put this in there first and then unpack stuff? Think brain, think. Okay, let's do these bottom drawers first because I think that's going to be less overwhelming. Let me show you what we're working with down here. Oh, I spilled something. Gross. So yeah, I should put it in here because this thing just slides back and forth. Um, this is not too bad, actually. I, oh my god, I have like nothing in there. <sighs> Dang it. This one I need to rub with soap because it never comes out evenly. And that's why I don't have anything in there. So yeah, let's start with this. This is the junk drawer. Don't, don't look at her. We're, we're not going to do that. Don't look at her. And the real reason I actually got this stuff is because if you can see, this like gets on the bottom i don't know if you can see it there's like white stuff on the bottom of my pans and pots and things because they rub along it so like this is the main reason that i got the non-stick stuff so let's do this first i already know i'm gonna need my stool so let's go get her down mm -hmm. isn't she pretty tj maxx for 7.99 the tag is still on it <laughs> gonna pretend like that really wasn't there how about that uh, so here's the deal I don't have soap the bars of soap that I wasn't gonna get rid of I think I actually got rid of do we think a wax melt will work <laughs> maybe I shouldn't use orange but I mean basically like the wax will help it track better right yeah that's what we're gonna tell ourselves drawer is just kind of effed. This is a beautiful angle. I love this for us. 
Um, I just kind of looked behind the drawer and it just looks like it doesn't have a track on one of the sides really. So it just kind of like falls in. So I don't want to put heavy stuff in there, but like, what do I put? What do I put? You know what I mean? That's pretty, isn't it? That's not bad. I like it. It smells awful, but I like it. Okay, so this is a pretty decent size. Is this the smartest to go this way, right? It's probably the smartest to go this way. All right, so that cut really easily. It was easy to like follow the lines. I mean, I thought I went straighter than that, but here we are. <laughs> What I'll probably do is I'll probably just do that to all of them because they're all the same width. Yeah, they're all the same width, I believe. Like, see how that, like, that just, like, ugh. <sighs> it's an older house. I get it. I understand. But sometimes it drives me crazy. I don't know. I think I went at a total angle. <laughs> Oops. That one's a little messed up, but it's okay. Who sees that? No one. Isn't that funny? <laughs> There's a lot to take out of this little drawer here. I found my duct tape, I found my parchment paper, I found a lot of things on this adventure. Also, what were those there for? So like, do I just go in there and like cut this in half? You know what I mean? Let's do girl math real quick. It's about two of these guys. So it's like one and three quarters of these guys. So technically I should be able to get one two. Technically, I should be able to get three drawers done off of one roll. And I got three rolls. Two rolls. I got two rolls. Okay, let's just keep rolling because I'm wasting time. Why is this harder than I anticipated it to be? Because why wouldn't it be harder than I thought? I don't even know how far to cut this. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm closing you in the drawer. Get out of there. Why don't I always have to move you? Hmm? Oh, before, let's do this before I cut this. No, I'm just gonna cut it. Don't ask me what I was thinking. I have no idea. This is a great conversation angle. I just need you to know. Um, I've been shopping at Aldi a lot lately. They are just more cost effective. I have feelings about their meat though. I don't buy a lot of meat at Aldi. That just might be a me problem, cause I'm I'm from Nebraska. Okay, we've got good beef. It's our thing, I guess. And I do love me some good beef. So I just don't feel like all these beef is up to par sometimes. Let's see how this went. Did I cut exactly enough? <gasps> you guys, I'm gonna poop myself if I did. Not really. This got difficult. Maybe I should have just measured and cut. I don't measure things well though. <laughs> okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a half. Half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's just go up to seven and see if that's accurate. I was counting the little circles. Let's see. This might be too much, I don't know. Ta-da! Are those patterns gonna bother anybody else? Yeah, same, but this is what we get. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I turned it, would that be better? Oh, 
Yes. Okay, well, it won't stay that way, but like this is a lot better, right? I think that it flows a lot better. And then I can put it back a little further and it won't come swooping up all the time. <gasps> it's perfect. Next. So in the name of not wasting product, this is how much I need on this one. Okay. And this is how much product will be left. That's like what? One and a half. This will definitely need more than one and a half. Do I just cut it here? Do I just cut right here and just lay this and cut, like call my loss? Or what do I... I'm just not about wasting product because I don't remember how much these were, but I know that they weren't cheap. But I also want to end up with like a dumb strip that I can't use. We'll just cut it in half. We'll just lop it and it'll just be a little overlapping. That's not going to hurt anything, right? Right. Doesn't that look like a hundred times better? Ta-da! <laughs> that was me showing you that it doesn't move very much. Get it? Non-slip. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'll be here all week. take a lot more of the roll. Look at how much we have left. That's a crap ton. That's a lot. <sighs> Here's the deal. I know in my brain that I should do the junk drawer. My heart doesn't want to do the junk drawer. So we're going to follow our heart today and we're not going to do the junk drawer. I might do that on a separate day. I just don't have the ambition to do it because I know I'm going to take everything out and then I'm going to have to organize it and it's going to take a lot more time than it would be if I just did this. Make sense? I hope so. Okay, let's get started on this because this is going to take up the most product. I don't know if you can see how far in that goes. Um, but I think it's also going to be the most helpful because I haven't put a lot of stuff down here because I was really sick of get, like it getting scratched on the bottom. So let's do this. Okay, you guys can see how like deep these go back, but also like, ah! this is the worst view ever. <laughs> this is part of the reason I wanted this is because I don't know where that came from. I'm assuming back there somewhere, but like it just showed up one day and I'm just, I don't know what to do about it. So I'm just going to toss it. You see why I wanted to like help it out a little bit? <laughs> Sorry I keep putting you guys in there. I think it's a little bit scary. I wouldn't want to be in there, but try to get you the good angles, show you what I'm doing. Ever watch like those videos where people like put you down the scary hole first, like the phone, they put the phone to record down the scary hole first. You're like, don't put me down there. <laughs> I don't want to see it. I see those on TikTok all the time and I find it hilarious. Cause no, don't put me down there. I'm scared. Almost done. I'm glad I bought two rolls because clearly we're going to use, I think we'll finish this roll on the bottom, like first row. Probably. Ah! 
Okay, didn't that just make that like a hundred times better? Oh God, don't look at that. That that's pu that's pretty, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to get in some weird positions to do this second one. Oh man, I'm just gonna get a new roll actually, because this could probably fit in the junk drawer. I'm just gonna get the new roll. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm gonna do this real quick. Ta-da! Look at how cute that is, guys. I'm absolutely here for it. Okay, so my plan is to put, because I think all of this stuff should stay here um, in this cabinet. And it's easier for me to reach those back parts through the under the sink part. So I am going to put all of this back and then um, just add to it as I need to. Because I think it's all in a good spot. So let's do that real quick. But we're flying through this. We are flying. Here's the deal though. I don't think I'm going to do the under the sink part today just because I have a whole organizer that I bought for that. It was in my Amazon cart, like to get the organizer. And then I went to Aldi and they had on sale for much cheaper. I don't know why these are down here though. These might need to be more accessible. Um, they have for much cheaper the little um, organizer for under the sink organizing. So we shall do that. A different day, I believe, and that'll be okay. Excuse me. Okay, let's explore the living room and see what I want to unbox first. I see a box. I'll be honest with you. I've looked at this box like three or four times. Been like, girl, that would be so easy to just put away. But like, it's my casserole dishes. And yes, in theory, it's easy to put away, but like, all the cabinets are so tall. They're so tall. Okay, so maybe, maybe we shift gears here. And would it be smarter to put my crock pots up there? because I don't use them as often and then put my Tupperware stuff in the bottom of this. Okay, give me two seconds to clear out that, see what we're in, open those doors, see what's in there, and then figure out how we're gonna organize it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so see, like, a lot of space up there still. A lot of space up there still. Same with there. And then I'll show you that even goes, like, see all that? <laughs> yeah, so I have space. It's just so awkward and so hard to get to. That's the issue with this stuff is it's, like, so random. So I think I am going to put the crock pots up there, to be honest. Um because I just don't use them as much, even though it is chilly season, but I can always get up there if I want chilly, right? Um, yeah, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is a lot harder to reach than I thought it was gonna be. So putting a lot of heavy stuff up here is not smart. Oh God, yeah. Okay. prettiest but like that works out pretty dang well for all the casserole dishes um I do put my pot like my pans over here so maybe I should put like that sticky stuff on here so I don't ruin this that would probably be a good idea wouldn't it 
You guys told me to get rid of those. <laughs> so I got them out of there and that's as far as they made it. Um, so I have room to put other stuff here too. Um, but do I really need one, two, three, four casserole dishes? The two with the lids, absolutely yes. But the other two, maybe not. I'm so happy. That was probably one of the easiest boxes we've ever done. I just lifted the stuff out and put it somewhere. I love that for us. All right, next. All right, I have picked our next victim. It is this tote bag. However, that must wait until I go get the child. So I will see you guys back here when I go pick him up. I hit a wall. I don't want to do anything now, but... We're going to finish this bag and see if there's anything else out there that needs to be put away. Honestly, I think the other two bags that have kitchen stuff in them, they're all mugs and I don't know what to do with the mugs. I have a mug problem. <laughs> I donated a lot of them, but I also still have a lot of them. Okay, so I put some pie plates up there and then I moved my chocolate molds over there. And I think what I'm going to put up here is my blenders because it's still fairly easily reachable. And then, yeah, I think we'll just do that. If you're going to ask me why I have two blenders, I'll tell you exactly why. These ones have lid cups and they're like portable and to-goable. And the other ones are good for like recipes. So <laughs> at least that's what I tell myself. This isn't like a super easiest way to get these up here, but it works. And I'll put these down here because these will get absolutely lost up there. Okay, mini waffle maker. Our little guy can go down here, I think. <laughs> little dinosaur. Where should I put this guy? The only two things left in this bag are a mini cutting board. This guy. This guy can stay down here. Oh, my baking bin. I can put this in my baking bin. All right, so there's this bag that I was talking about that has pantry stuff and like three vases. I don't need three vases. I can get rid of one of those at least. This, oh, this bag. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has, oh, we could probably unpack this one real fast too. I'm pretty sure this box has mugs. We just won't talk about it. Okay? We'll just not talk about it. And if we don't talk about it, it doesn't exist. Isn't this rug pretty? It was like $3. I don't know what that is. Our next victim. Da -da -da. Oh, good God, that's a lot of mugs in here, too. This is our microwave cover. I was missing this bowl from the collection. She... I don't know what to do with these mugs. This is a mixing bowl that goes with those mixing bowls. So we'll put that up there. So we might, because I only have three other mugs that go here. Those matching mugs go here. Like I have all that room back there still. I don't really want to put anything that I use up there all the time though. Um, that's mostly for like baking and stuff like that. So I guess I could have put my pie pans up there, but that's okay. So like I can fit a decent amount of mugs, right? I don't know where to put you to show you this, so just bear with the camera moving a lot, I guess. Okay, honestly, those are all the mugs that are in here. And then this can go, oh god, <laughs> oh lord, there, just like a glove, right, oh gosh, I'll fix that in a second. This money is going to be laundry money. Do you guys want to come to the laundromat with me one day? I try to go every week, I haven't been for two weeks, because I got my mom to do my laundry for me one day. Oh my god, I just, I got so tired. After I got Kelly, I'm just like exhausted. Where did my baggie of money go for the 
laundromat. I had a baggie of money for the laundromat. I don't know where it went. I will start another one. It's usually about $10 every time I go to the laundromat because I do the commercial ones. I don't know why I'm telling you this now, but I do two commercial loads, which is like supposed to hold three regular loads. So those are $3.50 and $3.50, and then washing or drying is $1.25 each. So sometimes I forget my fabric softener or my fabric, what is that called? Detergent. Sometimes I forget my detergent, so I have to buy their detergent, so then it's a little bit more. But I try not to do that because I hate their detergent. I'm losing motivation and daylight. <laughs> All right, friends. I think I'm going to call it there. That is literally, what, two... A whole box and two totes and I still have room like I still have room to put things oops what's stopping you from closing hmm what's stopping you from manifesting this closing for me is that bowl too big shit <laughs> well no great angle. You can see me well. Will that work? Winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. that I need to go to the dollar store and get bins for storage for that pantry because um, I know I'm wasting a lot of space in there by not having it organized to its fullest. Do you want to see what everything looks like before we go? This time my camera doesn't decide to be stupid. Look at how beautiful. We love her. Look at that. That'll drive me nuts. It's just so nice. It's so nice. I am tired. I'm going to make our dinner and then relax. I actually have to put my laundry away. God, because it's all over my bed. But I am going to go do that and then I'm going to relax after I make dinner. <sighs> so friends, thank you so much for joining me today. We got a lot accomplished. That was a lot. And it didn't take as much as I thought it was going to take. I thought the kitchen was going to take a lot more time and a lot more effort. But honestly, there is a lot of storage in here. Um, I just haven't utilized it to its full potential yet. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate you being here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!